basically what's happened with the shift to L2s being the scaling roadmap for Ethereum is it's created a fractured heterogeneous environment that has different security guarantees in different contexts, depending on what L2 you're using. Majority of these systems are actually custodial in nature because the funds are controlled by a small subset of multisigs that are all economically aligned uh, interests. So if you look at something like optimism, having your money in optimism is no different than having your money in Coinbase, as far as I'm concerned. Now, the problem here, though, is for me to go from optimism to arbitrum to something else, right? I still have to bridge through Ethereum, which is both expensive and time consuming. There's a fracturing of liquidity and there's a non-zero time to move money say, off of optimism. It, you know, I think it still takes a week. What you see in something like Quai is you see a scalable system that offers a homogeneous environment where from the user's perspective, they don't really understand that shards exist in the system. They simply have a destination address and an amount they want to send, and it goes through. Now, for super users who maybe are interested in high-frequency, consistent trading or settlement, they might start to care about what their footprint looks like in the shards because they want better finalization times at which they can respend outputs in cross-shard settlement, and they might want to optimize uh, the fees that they're paying. Really, the system is designed to not let the user see that. And, and I also have to mention that when we talk about sharding, we expect to get somewhere between two and 500 TPS per shard. So until we're at 500 TPS, uh, shards don't even exist. There'll be a single shard in the system. And then when it goes from 500 to 1,000 and two shards, there'll be two shards, but your time between those two shards is gonna effectively be two blocks. So you're still not even really gonna notice it. And then when you get to four blocks, you might start to notice it a little bit for your cross shard transactions, in terms of finalization time cross shard. And what I mean by that is the time at which you can respend money that you've received. So even if I send you money cross shard, even in one block, you'll still be like, okay, I'm going to get that money. I just haven't gotten it yet in my destination so I can respend it, but you're going to get it. So you can think of it as processed. It's just, you can't reference it again. So this is similar to if you have a bank account and you get like an ACH and it says, this is sort of the amount that you have pending. This is the amount that you have like available, right? You know that you're gonna get the pending amount. It just, it's just gonna take another day. In, in our case, it'll take like another 60 seconds uh, if you're in four shards. And if we expand to nine shards, I think that time goes to four minutes. So, and then if you go to a hundred shards, I, I think it's something like an hour. So at a hundred shards though, you'd be doing 50,000 TPS and at 50,000 TPS, you're already 25x like what Visa does on average in the US, like in a year. But at the time we even get the four shards, we're on Visa level here. And the thing you're paying for it is is about, oh, well, no, actually, I'm actually referencing old times. We're actually going to be going to market with five second blocks, not 12 second blocks. So everything I'm saying, you can divide by or multiply by 40%. So like right now we can do about 500 per shard to be clear, like on the math. We've shown we can go up to 700, but we also know there's optimizations that can be made. I'm not gonna like give promises of like what we can or can't do. If I had to like make a guess, I think we could get to about 2000 TPS a shard, but we can continue to sort of make the processing more efficient per shard and up the throughput per shard. We can currently do about 500. I think we can get it to maybe 2000. And so with a 2,000 by nine, it'll be 18,000 TPS. And again, for reference, on average, Visa does 1,700 TPS, right? So even if we just get to 500 TPS at four shards, you're still Visa level in terms of average uh, TPS.